is Darren Blank and I've been asked to do a short YouTube video on the differences between orthophosphate and polyphosphate and then I'd also like to talk about the benefits of placing phosphorus in furrow versus banding that phosphorus or even broadcasting that phosphorus as far as a starter goes. So on the uh, ortho versus polyphosphate i uh we've got a lot smarter people than me in this uh in this group that are going to talk about the the chemistry behind this but i'm going to speak in layman's terms and basically an orthophosphate is a singular very simple form of phosphorus the only form of phosphorus that a plant can take up and utilize so any, any kind of phosphorus has to become orthophosphate before the plant can take it up Polyphosphate is, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a poison of any kind. It's just a cruder form of phosphorus that the plant can't take up initially. Polyphosphorus is a longer polymer chain. Poly means many, and it's gonna have a longer polymer chain that has to break down and be a singular chain in order for that plant to utilize it. That takes time, temperature, and moisture. So when we put polyphosphate in the soil, it's just not as efficient as orthophosphate. And in May, uh, a planting season in the Midwest, we've got warmer soils, we've got moisture in the soils. That conversion from poly to ortho is gonna be much more rapid than what that conversion process may be the 1st of April or the end of March when the soils are cooler, much cooler. So keep that in mind as we continue to push that envelope every year no matter if you're in South Texas or in you're in Minnesota, you're still pushing that envelope on planting a week earlier than normal, a week earlier than last year, and uh, trying to get that corn in the ground earlier because the, the uh, odds are the quicker we get that in the ground, the quicker we get emergence, the quicker we're going to get pollination and be able to, uh, to miss the, that stressful hot temperatures in the summer. So that's really the difference. We wanna be more efficient with orthophosphate and so our products are going to be either 100% orthophosphate so they'll be 100% available and in that case I really call them plant food they're not fertilizer because we're feeding that plant we're not fertilizing the soil our 8020s and or even our 5050s or 6040s if we have any of those analysis available are going to be more in that longer term period and we're going to have to have a higher uh, phosphorus number so that we've got a higher percentage of orthophosphate in that plant.